riding an 85 and they just want to do have fun with the little guys out there and uh, it's, it's not really made for a guy from 80 kilos to race that thing so it's a little silly doing it and you know telling it now but you know the bike really bugged going up that up that uh, jump and then uh, I went to lean forwards and then by taking off my bike went sideways and I just jumped off and land on my left leg and then I uh, broke my femur so uh, yeah it's a it's a pity it happened that way but it's like this and we have to recover as quick as possible. Yeah, again, you know, uh, after that happening in mill with my shoulder, um, you know, going go to this charity race, you know, there was even nothing, nothing, nothing on the table. You know, a mill is still expected, you know, you know, this championship, they expect you to win. So you got a little pressure, but this race was just just for, for charity. And, uh, you know, normally it would have never happened because I even said, like, I don't want to take the risk. I don't want to do all the race. I just want to do that 85 race and that, that Super Bowl, just one lap. You know, we just want to have a fun day. and. Don't take any risk for getting getting hurt. So that's why when I was racing at 85, I didn't want to take any risk because I was racing in first place. Uh, Dutch Friday, you know, he was he was even faster than me. I was like, just just let him go. I mean, like, yeah, you know, I just want to have fun and enjoy my time here. And you know, that's why I was pretty crazy. I, I still crashed, and uh, you know, as I said, the bike bogged, and I went to lean forward, you know, and then high sided off. So it's uh, it's a pity, but you know, it, it's happened. You know, coming in hospital, you know, first of all, you lose your hope, you know, you get in there, you know, look at it six days later, a lot more 13 days, and then next thing's on your mind, like, hey, we've got five weeks off, we've got Brazil, Mexico, we've got eight weeks, you know, you see a small, literally, like, teeny, teeny small chance, and you, the only thing I'm, I'm having now is just hope, you know, hope to get better soon, and uh, that's what keeps me, keeps me on, on the roll, and every morning to wake up early, get to that physiotherapist, to that doctor, you know, to try to make myself better and better as quick as possible, you know. Uh, the only thing I have now is, is, is something where I believe in and I, I believe in to just get better really quick. So, um, yeah, we hope to do that. So, it, it's, it's really tough, you know, mentally, you know, knowing you are so so much better than your competition this year and maybe losing out in the, the championship and it's not on my own hands. You know, whatever happens this Sunday, there's nothing I can do. Whatever happens probably in Brazil, there's nothing I can do. So, hopefully I'll be back in Mexico and... Uh, still show you know that this title is mine I mean you know last year you know I, I still believe in what happened last year with, with Lero I had I had actually not really a goal to raise I had a championship I had a perfect season I won 15 GPs already so far I think last season so for Lero it was just like you know it was a digital like the, the day after the half was like hey I'm motivated I want to do this I want to race in Lero so I, I looked at at, 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 at the schedule and it's like hey I got 19 days to prepare or 18 so we started the next day and we worked the butt off, we worked with the shoulder all the day to all kind of different physiotherapists, doctors and, and you know we we healed the bone in less than 18 days, uh, the, the shoulder fracture. So you know and then I seem like we have a lot of hard work and dedication and passion and, and believing in it. Uh, there is maybe possibility to also overcome this and uh, you know many say it's three months or more for our femur. So uh, I'm gonna do 110% my best and try to do it in eight weeks uh, or even less in seven and a half. And uh, that's our goal. Um, we do our best and that's all I can do. Um, that's just, you know, the physiotherapy and the laser therapy to get the swelling out and to start working my muscles. For a bone, there's not much you can do. You really have to, you know, wait for nature to start growing. And and uh, obviously, training helps a little bit. You, know, you get your blood circulation going, which makes makes the bone grow faster. You you take pills like vitamin D. You know, you try to take every. You, you drink a lot of milk. You try to find every 0.1 percent you can find anywhere on the table. And obviously, uh, you know, KTM. Uh, has hooked me up with a great bone stimulator, so uh, I hope that works. We used a different one for last year and um, last year in Europe, which worked perfect. But this time we have a we have a new one, uh, we have a different one, and uh, hopefully it works. And uh, normally it should heal me way way faster, one third of the progress faster. So I hope the system does what it says it's gonna do. Yeah, it was 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 amazing to watch. I mean, like seeing. Seeing them race now is way different than normally. They're so excited and so fired up. They all see a slight chance of winning. And when I'm on the gate, I already mentally know that they know I'm, I'm one of the fastest guys because I've proven 
that I've won the last 27 GPs, I think, where I've raced that. So now you see all those riders have way more hope. And uh, I mean, it's also for them to win a GP. And, you know, I definitely never expected Dick Shea to win. Um, you know, he's a great rider, great athlete, uh, really, really fun teammate. But, you know, normally when he had pressure, like in Brazil when I wasn't there, last year when I was injured, he never really did what he had to do. And now I look at, you know, he pulled that whole shot, I think, first moto dominated that moto and you know take a fourth second moto and get that overall so he showing he was he was pretty good that day and uh, it's going to be tough to still you know win the championship you know uh, i hope to just be there in mexico and all i can do um yeah definitely you know it's normally one on with two points uh i i believe at the moment so you know going to brazil is too short it's kind of you know we already gone for three months to hopefully eight weeks and then you know to go even closer like six and a half weeks like even i think it's impossible so uh i just hope and believe it's going to happen that i can go come back in mexico but uh hopefully uh Dick Shea doesn't win this weekend he doesn't win in brazil for me you know uh even though he's a great kid you know as a racer i, I hope there can be some riders in between to steal away some points but I think end of the day the best the best man will and should win and uh, we'll see whoever, whoever is the strongest in Loma will win and every single person on that racetrack deserves to win if he's the fastest so uh, to all of them good luck. I think it's pretty amazing to have a Dutch rider in our team. It, uh, I never really worked with a Dutch guy also in my team. It's, it's always you know uh, been a, a rider from another country. Uh, even Van Horbeek he was Belgian same language, but you know he felt like you know he was he was like. You know, my teammate from the same country, but he was still Belgian, so now we're the Dutch guy. You know, he lives half an hour away from me, so he's a great kid, and uh, he showed some great speed this year and great talent, and uh, I hope he can follow, you know, what I am doing right now in the future, and he can be the next Dutch big superstar. You know, I've, all the writers in the paddock are basically my friend, and don't really have people who really hate me. Uh, I mean, you know, like, even the, the guys who I compete with at the front, you know, guys as Dick Shea, guys as Goldenoff, uh, Butron, Tonkov, uh, Petrov, you know, we're all close friends. So, and now, you know, it, it plays maybe a little bit in my favor also, but, you know, I, I like them so much and they're great, great writers and they're so fun. So I'm happy they're my friends and uh, it's always fun to have some friends at the racetrack, you know, you know, with, with friends on track is different than when somebody really, really hates you. So, uh, it hopefully can play a little bit into my hands, but you know, they should not get involved. I don't want them to get involved. I just want, you know, the best possible racing out there and whatever God will bring us through. Uh, we'll see whatever happens and uh, just hope to be back in Mexico, as I said.